Hey guys, B Jr. here, hanging out in the cave once again. Not going to do a full on review or anything today. I'm just going to slow it down, do another one of these spotlight videos. Just got finished watching the special features and the film. Uh, and my, the next and the arrow video sickness that I've got going on right now. I haven't been going to big lots here lately. I haven't found anything there in months, and I haven't really bought any movies since my big Christmas hauls that I got from Blue Underground. Um, gotten a screener here and there. I'm going to get ready to do some reviews on those in the months to come. But uh, what I have been saving my allowance for and spending my dollars on is these Arrow videos, trying to improve my collection of those from England. And i got to say, i got another winner today. There's going to be an upcoming Blue Underground release of this, and I'll get more into that here in a minute. What I have today is the Arrow Video Blu-ray presentation of an 80s action film directed by Joseph Zito starring Dolph Lundgren, the one, the only, Red Scorpion. That's right, guys. This is one of my faves from yesteryear. This one came out in the height of the action movies like uh, Invasion USA, Missing in Action, the Rambo films, um, you name it, the, the Schwarzenegger films like Commando and Predator. They were all coming out around this time. This is from 1988, I believe. And uh, Dolph was right in there with them. Uh, and this one was a uh, decent sized budget behind this film not a real huge budget but the film overall is a great action film I've always loved it but sadly until now in the US at least you've only been able to see this in a full screen really crappy DVD release or a bootleg release this is the first time I've ever watched this movie in widescreen and that is sad this is 2012 guys and this is the first time I've ever seen it in widescreen but luckily companies like Arrow Video and to be coming soon, uh, Synapse, I believe it is, not Blue Underground, Synapse, is going to be releasing this film on Blu-ray. I didn't want to wait till June, and I heard tell by doing a little bit of research on this, and I can verify it by way of what I've seen today, Arrow Video's special features on this are different than the ones that are going to be coming out from uh, Synapse Films release. And also, this is a strictly a Blu-ray release. I, from what I understand, the Synapse release is going to be a Blu-ray DVD combo. And it's just going to have different interviews. I think it's going to have interviews with Tom Savini, uh, an interview with Dolph Lundgren, and some other special features therein, an audio commentary. This one has an audio commentary with the director and about a half hour long uh, uh, interview with Dolph and some other features we'll go over here shortly. But just... Just take my word for it. Basically, they're same but different. Um, we'll get more into the differences as time goes on. As always, you have the cool window box with these Arrow releases. Let's pull that off there. Um, get them while the getting's good, guys. I keep preaching that, but uh, I hear tell they're gonna they're gonna dump the window box soon and only have four or I only have two reversible cover arts versus the four that they have with these. There's the back of the box, guys. Let's adjust the focus so you can see it better. There you go. And a rundown on all the special features. Love these window boxes. I'm going to hate it if they get rid of them. There is the newly commissioned artwork. I like that artwork. And what I'm finding is a lot of these Aero videos that I've been buying, I tend to like their commissioned artwork. It just suits their release of it. So here is, I believe, the US one sheet that was out at the movie theaters. Sadly, I didn't get to see this one in the movie theaters. I was hitting the movies a lot during this time frame in my life. And Red Scorpion is just one of those I had to wait and see on home video, but luckily I got a chance to see it. It was great. I love the taglines they put on these here, on these releases from Arrow. He's a human killing machine. And on the reverse, taught to stalk, trained to kill, programmed to destroy. It's awesome stuff, guys. Let's do the uh, insides here, the innards. Red Scorpion Blu-ray disc. Got Dolph. He's even on the disc itself. How killer is that, guys? I mean, if you like movies from Chuck Norris, from that era, from Stallone Rambo films, you know, you got to like Red Scorpion. Dolphin did a really a string of decent films during this time frame. Not only Rocky IV, but he did, uh, I even like Masters of Universe. Um, he did The Punisher, the old Punisher movie from Marvel Comics, and a whole bunch of them. Uh, Universal Soldier with Van Damme. Anyway. Here's some of the extras, guys. You get the cool booklet. This looks like about a 10-pager. I'm definitely going to want to sit on the toy and read this one from cover to cover one day. Um, it's got pretty cool little stills from the movie, action stills, and the, the usual in-depth nerdiness that you would want in a good special edition Blu-ray presentation. There's your booklet. 
let's see guys it's got the uh, the requisite fold-out poster I'll do my best here guys we're shooting in widescreen today but we'll try to get it in there in that frame I love these little posters of course as always and many of my buddies here on YouTube kind of agree I wouldn't really display these for two reasons unless they were a signed piece of autographed history from my man cave wall or if it was basically um, a non-folded one. I, I tend to like non-folded items, but hey, what can you do? There it is, guys. The Red Scorpion, same as the cover. The newly commissioned artwork. And here is the US-1 sheet from back in the day. I, and from the uh, interview that I'm going to talk more about here in a moment uh, that they had with Dolph Lundgren on this uh, disc itself, they actually, whenever they commissioned this artwork, they had this one sheet done before they even got him signed on to the movie. This is actually his pose of, they took an Ivan Drago from Rocky IV and uh, kind of copied and pasted it in there and kind of, you know, put the gunships around his head and all that. He talks a little bit about that and how it doesn't really look like his character from the movie. So it's like Ivan Drago is Red Scorpion or something strange. Anyway, moving on, moving on. And this one has a cool DVD and Blu-ray catalog, which I'm really glad they included. This is about the same size as the booklet, about... This is actually about 15 or so odd pages. But what it has is like all their current uh, releases on DVD and Blu-ray. And also some of the new coming uh, Aerodrome titles. Now a little side note on Aerodrome. I've done a little research. That's these guys right here. They are uniformed and color coded. On the back here, Aerodrome is color coded. What it's going to be is kind of meat and potato versions of their Aero Video and Aero Academy line if that are just re-releasing on this line. And they're doing it by color codes uh, so forth. Like uh, blue cover will signify sci-fi. Um, orange will be action. Uh, greenish color will be giallo. Uh, red for horror. So forth. And that basically if you missed out on the Aero Video Blu-ray or if they do this region locking uh, rumor I keep hearing and you have a region free DVD player whatever um, these are going to be cheaper, more meat and potato, bare bone kind of release re-releases of what they've already brought out on Aero Video, from what I understand. That's what Aerodrome is, I guess. Okay, the reversible cover art that we've grown to know and love, and I'm going to hate if they lose. There is looks like a Japanese or maybe a Thai title there, uh, or a one sheet. And here is a, looks like a French one sheet for Red Scorpion. Le Scorpion Rouge. <laughs> I only took uh, one class of French. I do not know French in any way. Sorry if I murdered that. Guys, sorry about that. Let's put the cover up back in so I'll feel nice and nerdy again. Yeah, there we go. Loving it, guys. Loving it. Let's go over the, the lineup of the special features. And I'll kind of tell you about see I've watched the film this is one of the rare times I've actually watched the whole entire blu-ray and all the special features everything I've only spot listened to the commentary so it is a brand new high definition transfer of the film 1080p but let me do some side notes some research that I've done so far apparently this blu-ray transfer that arrows done is not been remastered although it does look it does look good it looks a, a solid 7 out of 10 for me and i usually don't give older movies above an 8.5 mainly because they're older movies and they're not really they have to do remastering to get take out the speckling and all that kind of uh you know artifacts on the screen i did notice some speckling in some portions of the movie but overall about 80 percent pure if you want my my novice opinion on it it's about 80% looking good and about 20% kind of speckled, you know. Uncompressed uh, 2.0 stereo audio. Side note, apparently the Synapse release is going to have 2.0 stereo uh, sound to it. Also, it's supposed to, it's supposed to. I haven't seen or even looked at the other release, so I can't fully comment on it. But the Synapse release is supposed to have 5.1 audio coming out. Uh, more to come on that in the future. Uh, we know about the reversible sleeves and the, and the, the innards there that I've showed you so far, but on the Blu-ray itself, it has introduction to the film from Star Dolph Lundgren, which is just about basically a quick little 15-second uh, intro from uh, Dolph himself just telling you to enjoy the film, basically. Uh, UK exclusive audio commentary. Well, that's true and it's untrue because I'm in, I'm in the States and I listen to it. I don't know. With director Joseph Zito, moderated by filmmaker and genre scholar Howard S. Berger. 
Um, a spot listen to that. I'll probably sit down when I have more time one day and listen to it. Joseph Zito does do a pretty good uh, commentary. He's very technical. He likes to tell you about how they did things in the movie, where they shot it, that kind of stuff. Really good nerdy stuff. All Out of Bullets. Dolph Lundgren remembers Red Scorpion, which is about a 35-minute uh, featurette on basically just an interview with Dolph Lundgren talking about his memoirs or memories of the making of Red Scorpion from its inception to its release. Some very interesting stuff. It's rare that you see a whole lot of interviews with Dolph Lundgren, and that was really nice to see him just kind of you know, out of those, out of the limelight, just kind of sitting. They looked like maybe just his apartment or just somewhere where he was kicking back and just relaxing and Really nice guy. He seemed like he didn't really mind talking about the movie at all and really enjoyed his uh, memories on the film and his insight on it. Uh, music with Muscles. Composer Jay Chataway on the soundtrack to Red Scorpion. I really enjoyed this. This was about a 15-minute featurette. Uh, Jay Chataway is a, is a composer that's done umpteen action movies from the 80s and even still composing nowadays. He did Missing in Action, Invasion USA, a lot of Joseph Zito films. He's done about seven of his films. And you, you'll notice a lot of his music cues. It's kind of like a Harry Manfredini. You, you, you kind of notice their mu music because a lot of it sounds the same. But, uh, of course, original theatrical trailers included on here too. But I really enjoyed that uh, featurette with Jay Chataway. Therein, another side note from other... Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to double dip and get the Synapse release because the, there's going to be different interviews. What I understood from my research on that... This is not a spotlight on that disc because it's not even come out yet. I understand it's coming out June 6th of this year. But I understand it's going to have an interview with Tom Savini, a different interview with Dolph Lundgren, and also, I think, an, a commentary, but it might be a different commentary with Joseph Zito and Dolph Lundgren. Hey, don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking that might be it. I'm not real sure. But, of course, the Synapse, it is going to throw in the DVD, but it will not have the reversible cover art or the uh, window box or the poster and all that kind of stuff that uh, Aero Video seems to throw in. So, will it be better than the Synapse release, buying this one and being happy with the, the Aero Video unknown at this time? Being that I really love Red Scorpion and I really I mark out for all kinds of 80s action movies, Rambo films, all that kind of stuff, I can already tell you, I'll probably... I'll probably spend some coin on the uh, Synapse release because I like having combo formats too in case I'm in a place without a D without a Blu-ray player. And uh, I want to see all those behind-the-scenes goodies on these oldie films that I really love. So, But guys, I say if you're an Arrow nut or if you don't want to wait till June, uh, this is region free. It is uh, region ABC. It will play in your Blu-ray player. It is not region locked. Um, all the special features played fine. Even though it had a 2.0 stereo on my soundbar unit over there, it sounded great. I mean, all the explosions and gunshots and gore uh, was just excellent to listen to. One final word before I forget. I know this is running a little long today. This is the uncensored version of the film. This is the, I think, the international cut or whatever, the unrated cut. What that means is it's about six or seven minutes longer and it throws in some elongated action scenes that weren't in the... I've watched this movie countless times, so I can about pick out each scene. There's a cool... Well, not a cool, but there's an extra action scene where uh, in the theatrical U.S. cut, the helicopter gunship goes in and sprays like chemical agent all over the village, and the next scene you see is them walking into the village and everybody's dead. Well, in this version, you get about an extra two or three minutes. It's just like this big massacre scene where these... Uh, Russian soldiers go in there in these flame uh, flamethrower suits and like torch the whole entire uh, village with these big flamethrower things, <laughs> uh, flamethrower weapons. But uh, that plus there's some uh, extra speech from the enemy soldiers and stuff like that that I didn't remember and some extra explosions thrown in and all the gore is intact. So I say if you love Arrow Video and you don't want to wait for the Synapse release, go ahead and pick this one up. But if you want to wait for the Synapse release, I hear it's going to be a remastered version of it. It might look a bit better. Historically, I have to give credit where credit's due. Synapse usually takes a little bit more time than Arrow to remaster the picture and sound. But usually, historically, Arrow has all the goodies, the, extra, the, the good extra goodies that everybody wants. So, like the posters and all the nerdy catalogs and stuff like that. So, I'll leave it to you guys to decide on that and more to come on that. So... 
Maybe we'll have a showdown, guys. Maybe if I get the uh, Synapse Blu-ray, we'll put it up against the old Arrow Blu-ray, and we'll have a showdown, see which one I like best. Take care, guys. Leave your comments, questions, concerns. Rock on, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.